My nickname is Runner. A play on my last name, Renna, but mainly because I'm a pretty fast actual runner. I was diagnosed with hereditary spastic paraplegia, or HSP for short, in 2008, the same disease my mother and cousin have and my uncles had. HSP is a communication problem. The muscles in the lower limbs get the signal to move either too late, too weakly, or not at all. Hence the difficulty in moving. It is also progressive. Let me give you a picture of what I mean. Here I am in 2014 at my house attempting to run. This is a therapy clinic in 2018, walking with the help of hiking sticks. This is at my house with my physical therapist in 2021, testing my speed without hiking sticks. And this is not walking, but rather getting up from the ground in 2023. So you see, it gets worse over time to eventually being in a wheelchair, which I currently use whenever I'm outside of my house. I am no longer a runner and there is currently no cure. I am physically disabled, but instead of my world diminishing with this diagnosis, it has opened up possibilities. I did not go from getting the diagnosis to immediately being okay with it. The way you imagined your life playing out has just been turned upside down. You imagine what you will no longer be able to do. But if you flip the script, it is not what you can no longer do. It is what you now must do differently and what you can do in addition. I co-created Potato Pants with Constanza, my friend and colleague. It is my answer to turning an idea into reality. <clears throat> in August of 2014, I went hiking with my 10 year old daughter and her best friend. Along the way, I had to stop every few minutes. Mama, why do you keep stopping? Honestly, it's like walking with my pants full of potatoes. The next day, I told Constanza that I went hiking, that I had to stop often, and that I told the girls that it was like walking with my pants full of potatoes. She laughed and said, really? That's a great image. Let's figure out what we can do with that. We are both teachers at a school in Austria and have access to a huge community. Here is the potato pants, the potato pants idea that we pitched to them. Wir werden ein Rennen veranstalten, bei dem wir Hosen mit Erdäpfel füllen, bis zu 10 Kilo, äh, bei dem die Schülerinnen und Schüler, die Lehrer, die Eltern, die Politiker, alle, die kommen, um die Wette laufen werden, wobei es nicht ums Gewinnen geht, sondern darum, dass jeder einmal fühlen kann, wie das ist, wenn man im Alter mit so schweren Beinen durchs Leben geht. They loved it, and then they went to work. The sewing teacher made the pants, the visit teachers organized the racetrack, the French teacher volunteered for DJ duties, parents made food, the head of the PTA organized donation boxes, students volunteered, my student filmed and edited the entire, the entire event, which an excerpt of which you are about to see. Here is the potato pants run at our school in 2014. That is how you harness the power of community to do big things. And that is how you turn an idea into reality. From that event, we raised 6,000 euros for research, but I thought the idea was so good that it needed to be revived. In 2016, my students took up the mantle. They wrote, filmed, and edited a movie to raise awareness of HSP. They created a huge stand at the Vienna Sports World and they organized over 80 volunteers for the Vienna City Marathon. To date, Potato Pants has raised over 50,000 euros for research, and from our school alone, 15,000 euros. That is impressive, but just a drop in the bucket of what is needed. 
Potato pants relates to the experience of HSPers. No one is saying that if you don't have HSP, you can ever know what it feels like. But waddling around in awkward, bulky, heavy pants where they're slow, off balance, and get tied quickly will hopefully make people stop and think that it must be pretty tough going for HSPers. And with that awareness, develop empathy and appreciation and do things like fundraising. Some of the biggest insights come when, when, the, when, when they take the pants off, when they realize that HSPers are stuck in their potato pants permanently. My world has certainly been enhanced by this awareness of my body, of having to figure out how to do things differently. However, I have had this for 15 years. I got the lesson. I understand. It is now time to find a cure. The money we raise for potato pants will go specifically towards a project that is aimed at finding a cure, but that can only happen if we all work together. You can start small by donating, by having a car wash, a bake sale, a raffle, or if you're feeling inspired, start your own potato pants event. Perhaps a pot pot potato soup fundraiser, wearing potato pants at an outdoor event, or you can do something as elaborate as we did. Set up races and get hundreds of people involved. We need you. Together, we can do big things. Let's turn the idea of being cured into the reality of being cured. <laughs>